conversational AI or virtual agent technology that has matured and nowadays improves both the external as well as the internal customer experience. And it does it at scale while reducing the cost per conversation substantially. Utpal Mangla is the VP and senior partner for telecom, media, entertainment industry, the center of competency at IBM. And he's here to talk about his experience. Welcome, Utpal. Thank you very much. So we are seeing a significant increase in the use of conversational AI. What do you think is the main reason that it's really taking off among enterprises now? One of the key drivers for this particular scaling has been the COVID. COVID has accelerated digital transformation in ways that we have never seen before. And this in the last 12, 15 months has taken on to the next level. Companies were in a lockdown where they were not able to provide their call center employees ability to come to offices or even work from uh, different locations. And digital transformation has really taken to the next level and conversational AI is the critical component of that. And you're talking about people at the office. Uh, So what we see is that organizations are applying conversational AI for both the external, but as well for the internal customer. What are the key challenges that conversational AI solves for for these enterprises? Yeah, I would say that key challenges at a high level are three pieces. I would call them the three T's, if you will. Technology, talent, and transformation. What we are seeing is many organizations are challenged in terms of their ability to make a decision on which technology and tool platform to proceed with. We notice organizations using multiple tools and technologies even within their organization, which sometimes is not the best way to proceed forward. They may be good from a POC standpoint, They may be good from trying few things, but when you want to scale at a large level within an organization, you need consistency with tools and technology. So that's point number one. The second thing is talent. If you do not have the right talent, it becomes very challenging to do conversational AI or take AI to the next level. And then the third one is transformation. Unless there is buy-in within the organization across all the levels on the transformation agenda, it becomes challenging to take it forward. And you have many organizations with the conversational AI implementations with your three T's. Can you explain in more detail what it really requires for organizations to successfully apply conversational AI with these three T's? Yeah, absolutely. Again, I like to break it into points. I think the first one is ownership. There needs to be a stakeholder, senior ownership and buying at the executive level. If you do not have that executive support, it becomes challenging. The second thing is advocacy. You need a senior C-level executive at the highest ranks of the organization to provide that advocacy within the organization to make it happen. The third is try fast, learn fast, fail fast, and move to the next level. It's very important that you quickly try. If it doesn't work, you pivot. And then the last one, which I'm very, very passionate about, is measurement. You cannot define success unless you are able to measure it. It's very, very important to measure those pieces before you proceed forward. Because if you have measurements, KPIs in place, you will be able to provide the ROI and the benefits to the organization. And talking about this measurement and the success cases, what kind of transformation has this conversational AI achieved and what kind of measurements um, define success? Yeah, I would say... The It depends, although I don't want to use the word it depends. It depends on the set of use cases that you're using. For example, in many cases, it's about improving the net promoter score in terms of satisfied customers. In certain cases, it could be all about 
folks waiting at the call center to get their calls through. If you're able to have conversational AI, you are able to negate that in the very first place. The third one could be a faster turnaround in terms of solving the problem, ability to meet the requirements, ability to provide successful uh, intelligent workflow so that all the needs of the consumer are fully met and mitigated. And you made this very clear with your great point-by-point -point explanation. Thank you for sharing this in-depth experience on conversational AI. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.